How are you? Good. How are you, sir? I am also fine. You are from Borivali branch? Yeah. Okay. I have taken any lecture in Borivali. You which I, you were in the lecture, no? No. I was for online classes. Okay. Uh, not from Borivali? Borivali, but online. Okay. So like I did not attend offline classes. Okay. Okay. Great. So, Zain Vira, first of all, congratulations for hitting 99.75 percentile. Thank you, sir. You are happy with the percentile? Yeah, I am happy with it. Family members are happy? Hai? Yes. Okay. So, finally, which college you are seeking for admission? I think I'll get an EJT, I know. Yeah. So, you won't visit EA, sure. Not SPIT. No. It is be it is it is good ना कि अब option हमारे पास है right हमारे पास है choose करने के लिए कि कौन सा जाना या करें visit या SPIT विवेक आनंद ऐसा ही है जो भी college जाना है ठीक है anyways good so आ uh, Zain first of all आ uh, brief में about yourself आ uh, ten twelfth में क्या percentage थे academic आपने और आपका graduation में क्या course लिया था आपने और MCA करने का idea कैसे था या so I completed my 10th standard with 92 percentage from state wow. board and even 12th standard with 92 percentage from Jahin College that is again state board. Okay. And right now I'm currently in BCA from Somaya Vidhyavyar University. BCA? Yeah. So obviously BCA ke hai to to MCA jana hai. Haan, wahi. So BCA ke baad MCA hi tha and then second option was uh, job wise. But then once we start job, it is again difficult to come back on the track and start studying. Hmm. I thought okay, I will continue complete BC MCM hmm. and then I'll go for the job. Hmm. And my uh, classmates are also doing were doing MCM. So hmm. I have four of your classes. Okay. So your friend also did from manure only? Yeah. Okay, last year or this year? This year. Oh, uh, what what percentile he got? He or she? One has got ninety five percentile. One has got ninety seven percentile. Nice. तो सब ने अच्छा किया है. Yeah. तो top five top आप से अच्छा नहीं किया है. तो you are happy. उसके लिए अच्छा लग रहा है या क्या exactly? नहीं सब नहीं अच्छा किया है ना लाइक देल आल्सो गेट गुड कॉलेजेस ओके ओके आ हैव यू गोट टू नो अबाउट मेनुअल मतलब फ्रेंड के रेफरेंस से ही आए या हाँ हाँ फ्रेंड के रेफरेंस से ओके ग्रेट सो ऐसा लगा था कभी मैं भी एक दिन पॉडकास्ट दूंगी नहीं कभी नहीं लाइक आई नेवर थॉट ऑफ गेटिंग नाइंटी नाइन परसेंट आई हूँ फर्स्ट टाइम लाइफ में आया ना या ओके ओके हाउ वाज योर ऑनलाइन कोचिंग पार्ट लाइक कितना यूजफुल था और कैसे आपने प्रोफेशन को शेड्यूल किया था इट वाज वेरी हेल्पफुल लाइक ऑनलाइन थिंग बिकॉज़ ऑफलाइन में यू नीड टू ट्रैवल तो ऑनलाइन था तो वो एक वो ट्रैवलिंग पार्ट कम हो जाता था तो वो ज्यादा एनर्जी बचाता था लाइक वंस अभी यहां पे टीचर ने कोई टॉपिक सिखाया तो वेरी नेक्स्ट लाइक आफ्टर शी हैज टॉट आई वुड टेक द हैंड आउट एंड सॉल्व इट एंड देन इफ आई एम एबल टू डू इट देन आई यूज्ड टू सॉल्व द बुक क्वेश्चंस दैट दोस 50 क्वेश्चंस उसमें से 35 आराम से हो जाते थे लास्ट 15 और डिफिकल्ट इनफ हम्म तो उसको टाइम लगता था देन आई यूज्ड टू सेंड द फोटो टू द सपोर्ट टीम एंड दे यूज्ड टू गिव इट टू दैट टीचर एंड आई यूज्ड टू गेट द सॉल्यूशंस फॉर इट हम्म सो दैट वाज वेरी गुड थिंग अभी आज नहीं तो कल मेरे को सलूशन मिल जाता था उनसे ओके ग्रेट और जो मतलब ऑनलाइन में यही है कि यू डोंट हैव टू ट्रैवल टू द क्लास बट सम पीपल हैव दिस हैबिट की क्लासरूम में जाके सर से पर्सनली सीखना कुछ लोग को उस तरह से होता है देन दे प्रेफर क्लासरूम सो व्हाट वाज योर डेली रूटीन इन टर्म्स ऑफ द प्रिपरेशन Was any morning, afternoon, late evening? कुछ प्लान किया था आपने मॉर्निंग में ये पढ़ूंगा मॉर्निंग में आई विल लर्न इंग्लिश देन कॉन देन लॉजिक ऐसा कुछ प्लानिंग था वैसा कुछ नहीं था बट देर वॉज अडियो ऑफ योर वेर यू हैड गिवन द स्केड्यूल आई गेस 
I had started preparing from November. Okay. There was a video where there was like week one me ye karna chahiye, week two me wo karna chahiye. So hmm. yes, I used to follow that, and I used to go to college in morning. Okay. So like after coming home from around, I we had lectures online four to six. So from two two thirty, I used to start studying like revise previous things. Then mm-hmm. four to six, and again half an hour one hour I used to mm-hmm. uh, learn the new thing. Mm. So why three four hours I used to study. Acha. Okay. Subject tough section कौन सा लग रहा था था कौन के कौन इंग्लॉजिक इंग्लिश और कंप्यूटर. I used to find English a bit difficult. A reason so, behind. Uh, all those synonyms and antonyms like even when we used to when sir used to teach those words were only difficult like i had never heard of those words hmm. i can speak in better english but i can't understand like i can't make out those sentences what is even those jumble sentences and all those things hmm. was difficult for me and maths was somewhere easy enough hmm. only that uh, derivation and functions and all those stuff was a part of maths was difficult. Hmm. Being a BCA background, computer mein I don't think any problem will be. No, no problem. Okay. Ideally, people think maths is tough lagta hai, all the time. And this year, slot 2 was tough. So, yeah. the section tha, that was uh, much more tougher. Which, wa- which one was your slot? Slot 2. Slot 2. So, what was your maths ko leke experience? Like after coming out of the exam, I'm like, mommy, 80 percent will be nahi hone wala hai. Like maths was so difficult. Like I did not take it lightly, mm-hmm. but yeah, I practiced all the topics thrice or three times or four times. Like I solved every 50 questions of it. Wow. Like after coming from the paper, I'm like, mommy, kuch nahi aa raha tha mujhe. Mm-hmm. I I think 10 to 15 questions were correct, but then the those rest of the questions made me feel disappointed ki what did I do in the paper like how could I not know all those things mm-hmm. and comparative like reasoning was very easy mm-hmm. English was also pretty fair enough like not very difficult but yeah it was fair enough and computers was also a bit difficult not very easy but yeah it was a bit difficult the only troublesome topic was uh, section was maths yeah okay uh, when you had appeared for the maneuver mock, difficulty level of the mock, obviously we keep always a higher side. Mm-hmm. How much that help you to cope in the actual exam? Looking at math section was to- uh, tougher this year, slot two. Yeah. So like after giving first three mocks, like mock was, as you said, it was difficult. Mm-hmm. After giving first three mocks, I was completely lost. I'm like, did I even study? Like, why am I getting so ma- low marks? Then okay. I again started like solving 15, 20 sums from each section. Then afterwards I could find it easier. Like after revising, brushing through all the topics. Mm-hmm. And like just as I had brushed those topics just four, five days before the exam. Mm. It was easy enough to like recollect it during the exam. I had written down the formulas, like I had made the formula sheet. Mm. Mm. It was pretty easy enough then. Mm. What was your highest score in the mock? Never mock which were appeared. 150, yeah, 148 and 150. 140 to 150. Great. So, I mean, you were already hitting good score in the mock. So, <laughs> but uh, when you went for the actual exam, because of con section, you were not sure, okay, you will be getting good percentage. Yeah. Okay. See, this is the best part. The Toughness of the mock, we always keep on the higher side. If the exam is coming tough, then we can manage. Yeah. If it is on the easier side, then we can you know, hit good score. So yeah, we, we will take it lightly. Like, I guess your seventh, eighth paper was easy enough, like compared to the first three. So hmm. then I was like, nah, ye to ho jayega, easy. Hai. I'll do it. So, like, starting my, when it was tough, I could actually make out, you know, this is not so easy as I was thinking and I need to actually study for it. Hmm. What do you think, uh, Zil, if you have not joined any coaching, maneuver join, then what happens? What do you think? 
एग्जाम तो हो जाता बट नॉट विथ सच गुड पर्सन टाइम मे बी समेर अराउंड नाइनटी टू नाइनटी थ्री जिसमें अच्छे कॉलेज तो बिल्कुल नहीं मिलते टॉप फाइव टॉप टेन तो मुश्किल ही था टॉप फाइव तो मुश्किल ही है थ्री लर्निंग्स फ्रॉम द मॉक टेस्ट तो वेरी फर्स्ट मैनेज योर टाइम टाइम मैनेजमेंट देन अभी एक क्वेश्चन नहीं आ रहा है डोंट गेट स्टक ऑन इट लाइक मार्केट फॉर रिव्यू एंड गो टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अदरवाइज वी जस्ट कीप थिंकिंग अबाउट इट एब्सोल्युटली यही नेवर लीव एनीथिंग अनअटेम्प्टेड नहीं आता है जो भी कुछ मे बी यू नेवर नो इट माइट गेट योर राइट सो नेवर लीव एनीथिंग अनअटेम्प्टेड बिकॉज़ देयर इज नो नेगेटिव मार्किंग या तो डिड इन एक्चुअल एग्जामिनेशन एनी तुक्का मटका या मैच 15 लाइक 10 टू 15 वर आई न्यू रेस्ट अदर वर तुक्का ओके एंड अदर सेक्शन वहां पे सब जेन्युइन अटेम्प्ट किया हुआ था या वहां पे भी तुक्के थे वहां पे भी तुक्का था इंग्लिश जैसे मैंने बोला कि आई कुड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दोस सिनोनिम्स एंटोनिम्स थिंग एंड यू वर श्योर इनफ हाउ हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चन यू वर नॉट श्योर एंड यू अटेम्प्टेड लाइक आई वाज श्योर फॉर 10 क्वेश्चंस इन इंग्लिश ओके एंड कंप्यूटर में आई वाज श्योर फॉर 14 सिक्स मटका ओके During your preparation, do you think you have done any mistakes which all the viewers, those who are watching this podcast, they should not do? Not able to recollect. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, actual examination when you entered. Okay, चलो अभी start किया exam चालू हो गया. So, what was the feeling initial दस पंद्रह मिनट? Like, My have nervous. I studied enough? ये होगा. Like, I was full of anxiety, full of nervousness. कि will this work? Like. I am here, but do I know? Have I for like I was? I have forgotten things. I do not remember the formulas. So hmm. there was full anxiety over me. Okay. And yeah, that mistake thing I had taken like of uh, the subject that I felt difficult was English. So I had I was like, nah, yeh baad me karu, yeh baad me karungi. But if I would have done that, done it at that time, like those videos of yours, um. Word power made easy. If I would have been watching them regularly, I think I would have got good score in English too. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Like this year, that scorecard was also released, so I realized I got eleven or thirteen in English. Right. Like, correct answers. So yeah, I yeah answer ke they have released. Ah. Hmm. 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 So maybe I would have got. Fifteen, sixteen. If I would have seen those words and lo- learned those synonyms and antonyms, thing. So you have calculated uh, score, expected score. How much you were expecting? I was expecting one forty. One forty. Slot to ninety nine point seven five. So one forty to one forty five. We can say this is the score versus percentile. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, last question, uh, Zil. What tips or the session you want to give to upcoming year aspirant? Those who are targeting for twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, say eighty. Yeah. So first thing, don't start preparing late. Like it is said, kistichin time saves nine. Hmm. So always start preparing on time. Like beforehand, you can start preparing. First, second, please appear for mock tests. Mock hmm. tests are very beneficial. Right. Like you get to learn a lot from it. Hmm. And. Or could be attend those lectures, revise the concepts regularly. Like once, abhi if you starting it from June, don't think it till the last you will remember it. Like after every one two months, just revise all those topics. It is helpful. Correct. So that's all, guys. In this podcast, Jill have explained everything about her journey, uh, for the MCA CET. and uh, learn from all these podcasts implement the same in your preparation start your early preparation practice the question write the mock test do the analysis do mistakes improvise your mistakes and analyze your uh, mock making strategy hit good score in the mock and build your day day strategy for the examination uh, once again jill congratulation and uh, all the very best for your career 99.75 percentile vjti pakka hai so all the best चलो या बाय बाय टेक केयर